So if you guys are just tuning in, I'm showing you how I am building my website using the Wix platform. So if you have not watched part one, I recommend you stop this video right now, head on over to part one, which will be a link down below, and then come back and I'm gonna show you guys in this section how I am setting up the e-commerce side. So if you're just coming in from part one, Welcome back. So I wanna show you guys some of the changes that I've done so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on preview. So if you're coming from part one, you're gonna see some of the differences that are, that are happening right now. So for one, my logo is a lot bigger, which I like, it's a lot more bolder. There's a lot more color, so some of the social icons, remember they were black. I ended up going with the colored version. There's an animated background that I like that kinda of looks really cool. And this is all part of Wix, you can actually get this exact same background from their platform. I decided to kind of put my YouTube st YouTube stuff front and center because this is kind of what I do, so I want people to see this first. And then when you scroll down below, you'll see the latest news, which is the blog stuff, which I will still have to update because these are all filler posts. And then on the right-hand side, there's the social updates, which is like my Facebook, my Instagram, and my Twitter feed. So that way people can follow me there. And then right below that, I added another social icons just to make sure that people will subscribe. And that's the whole idea. So like I said, we're gonna be talking about the e-commerce side and how we're gonna set that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump back into the editor and we're gonna go to the shopping cart page. Now remember, when we first set this website up, we told it that we wanted to sell products online. So it automatically created the shopping cart page. So let's go ahead and double click on the navigation bar, go to manage menu, and then we're gonna go ahead and click on shop, okay? Now you'll see a whole bunch of products already in there. These are products that were added uh, by Wix. So this is something that we're gonna eventually delete, but they're just sort of filler in there. Uh, go ahead and click on uh, one of the products, it doesn't matter, and then click on manage products. So this is the section where we're able to manage these products. Now I'm gonna show you how to add a product, but before we get into that, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the catalog over here. You see all of the different products, of course. Um, you have a collection section. So what is collection? So for example, I told you guys I wanna sell some of the products that I no longer use. A great example would be this phone. I have this Galaxy S7 Active, which is almost brand new. I almost uh, never used it, never even did a video on it, but I wanna go ahead and sell it, uh, give you guys a really good deal on it. So I have a Galaxy S7 Active. So a collection, imagine a collection is sort of like a category. So if I'm gonna be selling a lot of phones, I'm gonna start a collection called phones. And that way you guys, if you guys wanna see a collection or a category, if you click on that, it'll, it will only show you phones. If I have camera gear, like camera lenses, I could call create a category called lenses. So remember, try to remember collections as categories. That's kinda like the best way I can, I can explain it. Uh, if you click on orders, these are all of the orders that I have and I need to fulfill. Obviously, I have not sold anything yet, and that's the reason why it's blank. Now, promote store. This is a great way if you wanna promote your store. So you can set up coupons. So I'm probably not gonna do coupons, but I'll show you guys in case you do have a store and you wanna create a coupon. So there's different types of coupons. You can give a dollar amount. So in this case, if somebody types in, you know, they're giving an example of summer sale. If somebody types in summer sale, you can get a discount of say, let's say, $20. So that would be a dollar amount. And you can choose to apply it to a specific product only. You can choose to apply it to a specific collection. So maybe only phones, right? If you apply this coupon, all phones 25% off or a minimum order subtotal, which means if you order over $200, we're giving away $20 off. Now, you don't have to use a specific dollar amount. The next tab is discount. So you can give a specific percentage, like 20% off. 50% off. You can also offer free shipping. You can also do a sale price, get X, get Y. So for example, if you buy two, get one free. There's a ton of stuff that you can do here. And I just wanted to show you really quick. I probably will not use coupons, but again, some of you might. So I just thought I would share that with you. Email marketing uh, is probably another one that I probably won't use either because a lot of the marketing that I'm gonna be doing is through my social networks. But it's there, very easy to use. So now, how do you set up or how do you manage your products? Very easy, on the top right hand corner, there's a section called new products or a little button. All you need to do is click on that. Now there's gonna give you, it's gonna give you two options. One of them is, is this a digital file or is this a physical product? So a digital file would be something like, let's say somebody creates recipes, right? They wanna sell the recipe book, that would be like a PDF document. It could be a music file. If you guys create music, you can download that specific song. 
A physical item would be like, you know, a shoe, a t-shirt, a phone, right? So in this case, we're gonna be doing a phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on physical. First thing it wants me to know is what is the name of this product? So I'm gonna put Galaxy S7 Active. Now, below that, it's asking me for images. So I have two pictures and you can add as many as you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload images and it works the same way as we did the other images. So have one here, Galaxy S7 Active. Once I like this one, just click on done, apply. And then if I wanna add another one, just click on the plus sign there. And the same thing, upload images, browse through your computer. You can also use your social media accounts. We talked about this in the first episode, like Dropbox and stuff like that. Once we're done, go ahead and hit apply. Now we have the front side of the phone and then we have the back side. I think that's good enough. Now below, there's the name of the product, Galaxy S7 Active. On the right side of that is a ribbon. What is a ribbon? So a ribbon is like a little box that's gonna appear on top of the product that's gonna let people know something. Like what is that that you wanna let them know? It could be something like a new arrival. It could be like bestseller. You can also have something like low in stock, you know? Or, or you know, something that you wanna just emphasize to your audience to let them know um, last one or something like that. And if you leave it blank, nothing will happen. And I'll show you guys more once we get to the front end of that. The price, so what is the price? I wanna give somebody a good deal, so I don't know, maybe 150 bucks, maybe 100 bucks. I don't know what I'm trying to sell this for, I'm trying to think. Now I could do it two ways. I can set a price or I can do something else. I can set the MSRP of this phone, which I believe is $700. I don't know, but let's just pretend or for the sake of this demo. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on sale. Now there's two ways I can do it. I can do a percentage or I can do a dollar amount. So I can do like 80% off or 70% off. That means I'm gonna sell a phone for $210. Or I can do a dollar amount. So if I wanna sell this for um, $100, I'm gonna give you $600 off. So in this case, I'm probably gonna end up selling it for like 150 bucks. So that means I'm giving you a $550 discount if the price of the phone is 700, which I gotta double check on that. Now, what is the description? So I can say like, you know, barely used, barely used, Galaxy S7 active in mint condition. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paste like some specs that I just copied it from a website. You know, it basically gives you all the details, um, the width, diameter, body, and this is good for SEO too. So the more information you put here, the higher you can possibly rank uh, through Google search because it has all of these different keywords and stuff. So this is good. The more information you put in here, the better. Now this next section is inventory and shipping. Now this is very important, especially for me, because for one, I only have one. I don't have like a whole bunch. So I need to track inventory. If you're not tracking inventory, like if you have a, a pretty much unlimited or you can get keep getting the the amount uh, of like, let's say t-shirts or whatever it is that you're selling, then you could, you're, you could either do in stock or out of stock. That's basically it. There's no other choices. But in my case, I only have one and I do wanna track it. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and check mark to track inventory. Because remember, I only have one. Meaning once that one sells, it's out of stock. You can't buy it anymore. Now what's the SKU number? So this is like the part number uh, or SKU number. In my case, I'm just gonna put GS7A. That's my SKU number that I know that I sold an active. What is the weight of this product? So I don't know, with the box and everything, I'm gonna say maybe two pounds once we put bubble wrap and everything. And that's basically it. Additional info, so if I have like a return policy, um, if I have like special instructions, so maybe I could say something like, I added an extra charger in there for you. Whatever it is that you wanna add, you can add this little section. Or if you have a custom, uh, like let's say you sell jewelry and you wanna personalize and you wanna add a specific text, you can do that. So for example, here where it says custom text, let's say you engrave, like their example would be like, what would you like engraved on your watch? Uh, I know Apple does this, they engrave, you know, your iPod or anything like that. So this is something that obviously I'm not gonna use, but it's there, kind of nice. The last thing is options. So what are options? So if you're selling t-shirts, option number one, or what I would call this is size. And then what are the options choices? So it would be small, medium, and then last one is large. Okay, that would be one option. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that option. Uh, another option would be color. Maybe it comes in different colors like red. Um, it comes in green. And then let's just say black, okay? 
So those are options, really cool. And then you can also customize, like for example, maybe the red colors a little bit more. So you're customizing the variation, or let's say obviously large would be more than the other one. Um, you can also change the weight because maybe the large product weighs more. So this is just an example. Once you're done, go ahead and click on save. See, that was very easy to do. And now we have this new product um, that was successfully saved. Now I'm gonna go ahead and reorder this because I want the Galaxy S7 to be first, and it is first, so that's great. And let's go ahead and see what it looks like at the store. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out, and then you'll see here, Galaxy S7 active. So let's go ahead and preview and see what it looks like. So when I click on preview, there's our store. Very cool, and I have this little animation rollover when I mouse over it, it kind of zooms in. When I go ahead and click on that, it's gonna give me the quick view of it. So, well, that's the quick view. Let me go ahead and um, click on it so it gives me the product page. So on the top right, you see it's Galaxy S7 active. It shows you the discounted price, so you can see it's $150. It shows that it's out of stock, and the reason why is because remember we added those options, and we never added specific stock for any of those options, so that's why we can't buy it. And I'll show you guys that when we jump back into the editor again. And here it is, barely used, Galaxy S7 active in mint condition, all of the details, and it looks cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back Jump into the, back into the editor and then show you guys the inventory stuff, which is cool. So go back to Galaxy S7 Active and then you'll see here the inventory. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one on every single one of them for the sake of this demo. Go ahead and hit save. Then go ahead and jump back into the preview and now you'll see inventory. So we'll go ahead and click on that to take us to the product page and then you'll see that we have the ability to select small, medium, so size. I guess I didn't add a large one and then the color, red, green, and black. Okay, so I want the green one. Now, remember I told you guys about the ribbon? So let me go ahead and click on click on back. So let me go back to the shop page. If you notice, bestseller is a ribbon, new is a ribbon, and then down below here it says sale. That's also a ribbon. So that's what a ribbon looks like. So there you have it, guys. Very easy to manage, add products to your store. I'm gonna be adding a whole bunch of great stuff to give you guys really great deals on it. And of course, keep checking back, because that's the whole idea. A lot of times I have a ton of products. I don't want to deal with eBay. I don't want to deal with Craigslist. I don't want to deal with all of that. I just want to be able to take a picture, add it to my website, so that way I can give back to my audience and give you guys some pretty sick deals. So once again, I want to thank Wix for making this video possible and also for the fact that I'm actually getting off my butt and building my website, because without that, I probably would still procrastinate and just keep keep on it for another two, three years and then not even do anything about it. So anyhow, guys, if you guys have any questions, leave me a comment down below. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.